Power Up Box by Box just made its debut on the Nintendo Switch. Is this family friendly 3D platformer puzzler worth your time and coin? I break this box down and give you all the details in today's video. <laughs> Developer Seed by Seeds Power Up Box by Box seems to be a very chill 3D platformer puzzler. It can be played solo or up to four players locally that has you jumping from level to level trying to solve puzzles to restore your world that recently got zapped of all color in life. The mechanics are pretty simple and you have the ability to pick up boxes, stack them, and jump. Along the way you'll come across boxes that have special abilities like being able to pull objects towards you as well as hover in the air. You'll also have the ability to do a short dash as well as being able to throw the boxes a short distance. It's pretty easy to understand and the game's first level, a tutorial level, introduces the basic mechanics. I found the game's controls to be pretty spot on for the most part, except the jumping seems to have just a little bit of delay. It's not too bad, but you'll get used to it. Sometimes placing boxes can be a bit finicky, but thankfully you can nudge objects if needed to get them into the right place. Each level is actually quite long, some lasting between 30 minutes to an hour depending. Some levels are pretty massive, but they are presented screen to screen. And what I mean by this is, that each part of the level is kind of blocked out into segments. The great aspect of this is if you screw up or need to reset the screen, holding the LB and RB buttons allows you to do so. There's no punishment for death in this game either, so you're free to explore and solve those puzzles until you get it. This game allows for different solutions too, so in some cases, having another player can easily double as a box, allowing you to ignore finding a box that you would otherwise need. There's plenty of secrets too that allows you to trade in for costumes or unlock mini games as well. Pile Up seems to be a better fit if you can find players to play with locally. While I liked the game, I found traversing solo to be a bit more challenging. Some parts of the game are an utter piece of cake the more people you have with you. Even though the levels itself are a bit extensive and long in themselves, there isn't many of them. And you can blow through the game if you don't collect everything pretty fast. There's really just four major levels in total. Just be aware of this if you're expecting a long game. To add a little bit to the game, there is some mini games you can unlock, but your mileage will vary, and these are intended for multiplayer use. Solo players will find themselves out of luck. I did enjoy Power Up Box by Box, but I just expected a bit more meat on the bone. I just think the audience for this really is more for local multiplayer co-op. If you're a single player, I don't think you're going to find as much of a game here as you'd like. Part of the experience of this game is just getting with people and trying to solve it out with a group of people as opposed to doing it by yourself. Regardless, I did find the game nice and chill and I like the forgiving play of letting the players attempt each area until they figure it out. The game reminds me quite a bit of Tearaway that was released for the PlayStation 4 and Vita years ago. Just again, honestly, the best way to enjoy this game is co-op. And if you're a solo player, just be aware that you may not find as much to like. And that's it for Power Up Box by Box. Hopefully it helps you out in deciding if you want to get the game or not get the game. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the video, helps out the channel. And if you're not a subscriber already, consider subscribing. I do a bunch of videos each and every week. A bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff, some retro stuff, and some other games as well. And of course, I would like to give a shout out to the Kaiju Club Patrons. These guys help to finance the channel, help to finance the videos. If you wish to become a Patreon member and get a shout out at the end of every video and stream, check out the link on screen right now as well as the description box down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time.
Thank you.